what is the moon made of? No, it's not cheese, but what the moon is made of is more important than you might think. When Apollo 11 touched down, some scientists were worried that the lunar module was going to sink in deep, soft dust. Today we know the surface of the moon is covered in regolith, a fine, thick dust layer created by billions of years of meteorite impacts. With no atmosphere to sweep the dust away, the moon's surface acts like a time capsule, collecting material from across the solar system. Understanding and using regolith would be the key to long-term moon exploration. But moon dust turned out to be a real nuisance during the Apollo missions. Not only was it highly toxic, but its jagged glass-like particles were highly abrasive, so they scratched visors and wore down seals. And worse, it clung to astronauts' gear and equipment, working its way into the lunar module, really causing a lot of difficulties for the crew. Apollo missions returned with samples of moon rocks that reportedly smelled of gunpowder to be analysed by scientists all over the world. It revealed that the moon has similar minerals to those here on Earth, but in very different amounts. The moon has much less iron than the Earth does, and by studying these rocks we can learn a bit about how it may have formed. There are various theories, but the most widely accepted one is the giant impact theory. When the Earth was very young, about four and a half billion years ago, a planet roughly the size of Mars collided with the Earth, and the Moon formed from the debris of the impact. So its surface holds the history of the solar system. The more we uncover about the Moon, the more we learn about how the Earth began. <laughs>